Hey guys, Mars Engine here bringing you another Dragon Ball Z Dokkan battle video. And so today I was going to do a little look here. I asked you guys for help over on Twitter. I was going to do this uh, partially just based on my own expectations, but I figured this would be a good opportunity to ask you guys what you think as well. So we are going to talk about some of the most anticipated easy A's for 2023. We've got the whole year ahead of us. We've already had. Gogeta and Broly, which I know if I'd asked this question earlier, I'm sure a lot of people would have put them on the list. Also, it's kind of ironic that I posted this last night, like my time, before I went not... Well, actually, it was the afternoon. It was about 5 o'clock in the afternoon, I think. And then this morning today, uh, we obviously had the announcement for the Cell and Gohan Easy A's. So I wouldn't be surprised if they feature as replies on this list, because obviously this post was made before that announcement was made so um let me know down below in the comment section the unit that you are most looking forward to easy aing this year whether they are on the list or not and uh, we're going to go ahead and scroll down and look through some of the replies so obviously i started it off with uh lr super saiyan 3 goku um this is my first rainbow summonable lr uh, when he first came out he was the hardest hitting unit in the game um, obviously, defense has always been a drawback for him, so hopefully post EZA, they remove that um, restrict. well, I say restriction, that negative aspect of his passive. Now, obviously, he's a much earlier EZA and a complete and utter fumble, but when they EZA Tech Super Saiyan 3 Broly, they didn't get rid of his um, negative defensive effects. But hopefully they'll have learned from that. I mean, honestly, today, having seen the details for Gohan and Cell and how good they are, it does kind of rekindle a little bit of hope in me that this guy is going to be really good. I really like the Super Saiyan 3 form in general. I've always liked using the Super Saiyan 3 team. So hopefully he is going to be good. So let me open the quote tweets page here as well to have a look at in a sec. Um, so we've got my boy AC, LR, Kale, and Khalifla. So yeah, I remember he uh, started playing JP when LR, Kale, and Khalifa came out. Obviously, a lot of you guys will remember back then, Truth was screaming from the rooftops that they were the best unit in the game, even at like 55%, which at the time that they came out, they absolutely were um, the best unit in the game. I don't know if necessarily the them at 55% is better than all other units. Rainbow claim was necessarily true, but like Rainbow maxed out, they definitely were the best unit in the game at the time because of i think the hard wasn't the hardest event we had the uh, legendary goku event so obviously they were getting all of the additional supers and everything so they were pretty crazy and i could imagine an easy a for them being pretty good the universe 6 team in general leads and needs a lot of revamping like the tech kale and khalifla are the latest unit and they're still somewhat decent but i mean these guys getting an easy a in the same celebration as like say str kefla getting an easy a and something like that like i could see these guys being super good again so then shout out to uh, Annie here. We've got all four of these mean a lot to me. Gogeta is a flimsy one, but if we get a big GT celebration, he's literally the only easy A left. Yeah, true. Obviously, we still don't know, but with the hints from that teaser the other day about the anniversary, if it potentially is going to have some sort of GT involvement, then obviously Int Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta getting an easy A would be very hype. The Tech one got the easy A last year for the anniversary and is pretty solid. Um, but the Int one, I, I mean, again, he's another unit that when he came out, he was essentially in contention for being the best TUR in the game. So, with an easy A, I could imagine him being super, super good. Um, Int Gotenks is actually one that would be high on my list. I think he was quite underrated when he came out. I think he's really good, so an easy A for him would be cool. And then these top two, I have to say, like the Gobros are pretty high on my list. Uh, I think they were one of the first units, like... This is going back years now. You guys kind of know my reputation at this point. Like, I think these are one of the first units where I saw their details on paper, knew they were going to be good, and everybody else, well, not everybody, but loads of people were like, oh, they look really bad. And then once we saw them in the game, it was like, oh, they're actually really good. I mean, aside from key issues, they always had key issues and having to, like, build up a little bit at the start. But for when they came out, they were super, super good. And then Tech Broly... Um, I can't wait for his easy A. Like, he could be insanely good. Nowadays, obviously, he's almost unusable because of his defense. But the offensive numbers that he can put out under a 200% lead are not terrible. Um, they're not like what we would expect for the current meta level, but they're not awful. 
So with an easy A, he absolutely would be incredibly good. <laughs> Shout out to my boy Joe Wags, host of the 5-9 Dokon podcast. <laughs> Our boy Bergamo. I remember when he got his awakening and everybody was stunned at how good his TUR awakening was. So an easy A for him could be interesting. Obviously, giant form and rage mode characters have always been a little bit underwhelming, but maybe Orange Piccolo really will have ushered in this new era where these uh, giant forms can actually be really good. Um, I think him just having the built-in chance to additional went a long way because it meant you could get potentially three supers for each one of the attacks. So giving him extra key, I mean obviously he's not an LR so he doesn't need a ton of extra key per orb, but just some extra key at the start of the turn is obviously going to go a long way. Um, and then I think I think having a built-in chance to additional is like the way forward for giant form characters and it would enable them to actually be able to do decent amounts of damage over the course of the entire transformation. So Bogamo definitely could be interesting. The only problem with him, I know it's kind of a meme because you can see the profile picture. Our boy Joe loves uh, Bogamo, but I think his biggest drawback, even if he got a really good easy A, he doesn't really have a great team or link partners, but... I'm sure at some point we should get a uh, we should get cards for either the other two or just an actual combo of like the trio, uh, the dangers all as one card. I think that would be cool. And then this guy would get a good link partner. So uh, five year fusions, yeah. Uh, Tech Broly, yeah. It's five year fusions. I can imagine we'll get during the anniversary. But yeah, somebody else saying Tech Broly. I love this unit. I want to see him curb stomp the entire game. I mean, with a good easy A, he absolutely could do that. With a good easy A, his active skill turn, like the amount of damage that he's potentially going to be able to do will be absolutely ridiculous. So uh, then we have MVP17. Yeah, our boy, the uh, Dragon Ball Super Physical Android 17. Um, very, very good unit. Lowers attack, supports the rotation defensively. Below a certain amount of HP, he has damage reduction. With how good some easy A's have been um, lately, and if we really want to get you know 2023 into high gear one of the things i could easily see them doing is just removing the hp restriction so that he just always has damage reduction and then if that was the case with him having damage reduction and providing defensive support he would almost become like a must run support unit on all of his teams and that's just like a very basic thing that they could do for him so i definitely would be excited to see his easy a always been a fan of androids uh, in general so uh yeah, definitely would look forward to Physical 17. And then, yeah, the five-year fusions and Physical 17. Uh, Int LR Rosé. I think this is another one that would be fairly high on my list. We still need... We talked about it a lot recently with the release of LR Fusion Zamasu, the Easy A for Tech Goku Black and Zamasu. Like, these guys all need a proper good 200% team. But if we get an event or a celebration where they release a Dokkan Fest, whether it's Goku Black or Zamasu or whatever, that gives a 200% lead to all of those units, then yeah, this guy getting an easy A as part of that celebration would be absolutely insane. Because again, nowadays, like if you run him on a team with those other units, he can still put out some relatively decent numbers, but in terms of like attack stats and stuff but of course his defense uh, leaves a lot to be desired in the current meta but with a good easy a this guy could be absolutely insane so definitely looking forward to his one um lr napa and vegeta i mean it'd be interesting to see how they would do that right because we've had a big we've already had another big saiyan saga celebration on jp with the release of the dokkan fest yamcha and then he didn't get a part 2 LR that was related to him specifically. We got the Carnival LR uh, Goku from the Hachiak movie. So I think they would potentially have to return to a Saiyan Saga type celebration in order for them to get an easy A. But that would definitely be good. And then, yeah, he also mentions here LR Team Bardock. Like, has there ever been a bigger fumble for the release planning of a free-to-play unit? We still can't get the last copy to rainbow them. And... Even when we do, even if they dropped that extra copy tomorrow, they're like unusable without an easy A. So we just had a big Bardock celebration on JP as well and they still didn't do it. So maybe Saiyan Day will be the last chance for these guys. But it'd be weird because with a new Bardock having just released, it seems pretty unlikely that Saiyan Day will be anything Bardock related. So 
I don't know. Maybe if they do that what if uh, thing that I know people have posted the artwork before. There's that artwork of like, I think there's a statue you can get of it as well. Of Super Saiyan Goku and Bardock together. Imagine that as like a what if, like a carnival LR in Dokkan. And then as part of that celebration, maybe we could get it. But that's going off on a bit of a tangent. But yeah, Team Bardock definitely need an easy A. Um, Camp Blood Media, I can't believe he hasn't easy aid yet, but I guess ever since they stopped going in release order, it's been better for units like him. The longer the wait, the more chance he gets a great easy... Oh, okay, I think he's, he's just replying to my tweet then, so he's talking about um, LR Super Saiyan 3 Goku. Because um, actually, yeah, I'd have to double check, but have any... Have, I think LRs that have come out after him have easy aid, right? So I'm sure Trunks... Did Trunks and Mai come out after him? I think they did. I'd have to double check, but... Yeah, I think they did. But yeah, Super Saiyan 3 Goku definitely would be good. The longer we wait, the more likely it is he's going to be good, which is true. Um, if they follow a pattern of Z movies one after another, I think Spirit Bomb Goku and Android 13 are going to easy A on the worldwide, considering it's the next movie after both coolers. Um, maybe, but I don't know. I wouldn't see, obviously, worldwide for this year, I definitely wouldn't see them doing Android 13 like movie as a theme for the celebration. Um, you know, they did two cooler movies to cover the whole worldwide celebration. So if it, it could have a general movies theme or it could have a Super Saiyans theme or something like that. And then maybe they could fit in. But regardless of where they will fit into the schedule, definitely Spirit Bomb Absorbed Goku with an easy A could be good. He's another one of these units that when he first came out, he was one of the best units in the game. So he definitely would be good with an easy A. Android 13 has always been relatively decent. Um, I think when he came out, he was pretty good as well. He was designed for the Goku event um, at the time because of his like critting against Goku, always hitting... Um, so you didn't have to worry about UI dodging and stuff like that. The only downside to 13 is that his transformation isn't an active skill. So you can't um, run him as like a floating support unit without transforming him forever. But his transform state is pretty good. So an easy A definitely could make him very, very good. Uh, and then Super Saiyan 3 Goku's there as well. Uh, <laughs> LR Gohan. <laughs> yeah, give him an easy A and actually give him like... You know, yeah, you'd have to get what? Give him like three keeper orb obtained and change his 70% uh, chance to get an additional super with 20 key to just a guaranteed additional super. But <laughs> shout out to our boy Dr. Pritch. Uh, so Tech Broly, yep, we've covered him. Definitely would be good. Uh, LR AGL Baby. I think that's another one that would be very, very good for the future. Um, we still need a Dokkan Fest baby. So I can certainly imagine that we get a Dokkan Fest that is like a super baby that transforms into Super Baby 2. And then during that celebration, we get the EZA for the LR baby. Because LR baby is Super Baby 2 brackets grade 8, right? So they would have different names um, and they would work very well together. Um, hopefully we get something a little bit better than Bojack. Like LR Bojack's EZA is decent, but... He almost feels like on a lot of the teams that you'd run him on, he's going to end up being like a floating unit with the orb changing and stuff. But LR Baby, if they release a really good Dokkan Fest Baby, then the two of them together would definitely be a fun combination to run. Um, villain teams desperately need the help. That is very true. And then, yeah, Super Saiyan 3, Goku, obviously could be crazy. Uh, LR SCR Gogeta. So, yeah, the five-year fusions again. Hopefully, we'll see that during the eighth anniversary. Um, but I guess we'll have to wait and see. Uh, this is talking about Super Saiyan 3. Goku, again, has the potential to be good. Yet another great tech movie hero. Yeah, true. Tech movie heroes has got to be probably the strongest mono-colored, like, build you could make in the game, right? I think the only one that would maybe come close... I'd have to put more thought into it, but the only one off the top of my head that would come close is Extreme STR, like, Terrifying Conquerors, right? Because you have, like, the LR cooler and the EZA cooler. But for Extreme, STR terrifying conquerors and for super tech movie heroes those mono teams absolutely insane that is very true um oh i'm actually surprised no one had said super boo so far um str super boo definitely will be an interesting unit with an easy a if we finally get a good new boo unit that drops as a 200 percent lead we need a new standalone boo han because we have transforming boo tanks uh, we have the STR Kid Boo, who's really good. We have this guy. So if we get a new Dokkan Fest Buhan, whether he's an LR or a TUR, that gives a 200% lead to basically all Boo units, then yeah, this guy getting an EZA would be really good. STR Kid Boo would finally have a proper home with a really good 200% lead. Um, and then physical Boo tanks. 
Even without an easy A, he might be somewhat usable again, but him getting an easy A is definitely another one that I'm looking forward to. I wonder if anyone mentions him further down, but physical LR Bootanks was one of my favourite units in the game for a while after he came out, so that would be interesting. Uh, the Gogeta and Vegito Anniversary LRs, yep. Tech LR Broly, Incel and AGL Gohan. There you go, we've, re we've met, got to our first mention of Cell and Gohan. MVP 17. Physical Piccolo is one that hasn't been mentioned. Obviously, with the release of Orange Piccolo, like he would be super, super good now on that team with an easy A. Uh, and then Tech Gohan. Will Tech Gohan get an easy A this year? I don't know. I mean, he's still usable, right? So an easy A would make him actually crazy. Uh, another person saying LR Rose. It definitely would be very good. Um, there's a lot of units whose easy A I'm anticipating, so I'll be quick. Physical Super Vegito. Yeah, nobody else has said him yet. I think that would be a very good choice. LR Super Saiyan 3 Goku. Uh, Int Super Saiyan 2 Goku. Yeah, him and the Tech Margin Vegeta. I would love for both of them to get really good easy A's. Um, STR Blue Kaioken Goku. Uh, STR Great Ape uh, GT Goku. That would obviously be really good if we're getting another GT uh, celebration. Super Saiyan 4 Vegito. I believe him and Broly are going to be getting easy A's with the Hero Celebration this year. But obviously that will be in November. And then AGL LR Gohan. Ooh, Tech Trunks. Another unit that hasn't been mentioned yet. Uh, both him and the AGL Zamasu I think could be really, really good after they get an easy A. I'm definitely looking forward to those two. Um, LR Godku, yeah, he, I mean, he's confirmed to be getting one, right? He's coming to Global in February. Um, I don't know when we're going to, we don't know when it's going to come to JP, but definitely good. Uh, <laughs> Tech Khalifla. <laughs> um, right, so, sure, you have red zone stages like Broly cancelling dodge. With a proper easy ace, you won't have to worry. Plus, imagine how good Universe 6 will be. I mean, yeah, obviously, like, most of the time you only use her in events where she gets guaranteed dodge. But if you're running her on, like, a full Universe 6 and Peppy Gals team, she actually still has a really high chance to dodge anyway. So, if they gave her an easy A that made her even better, like, then, yeah, obviously she would be... Uh, a very good unit overall so physical super vegeto yep um i can see this goku being a solid okay yeah he's talking about the super saiyan 3 goku that i posted oh so physical transforming vegeta that would be interesting because goku and frieza um got interesting easy a's and they were quite some time ago so this uh vegeta i actually wouldn't be surprised maybe we could see this for saiyan day because he was a saiyan day unit from what like four years ago now, something like that. So he could be really, really good with an easy A for sure. Definitely on a lot of good teams. And then physical Super Vegito again, obviously he could be good. With how good Great Saiyan Man 3 from the Heroes and uh, Celebration at the end of last year was, considering he is also a counter unit, that maybe revives a little bit of hope that physical Super Vegito could get a really good easy A. Um... In future Gohan, yeah, in future Gohan's one's got to be coming. The physical one is pretty decent when you're running him with a trunks. Um, but yeah, the int one definitely could be very, very good. Um, can't wait to see that. The int transforming Goku Black as well. Yeah, definitely he has the potential to be super good. Um, very much looking forward to his one. I did quite like this unit when he came out, but his major issue was always the fact that never really did a lot of damage because he only stacks defense. And he stacks defense... Um, I think it's relatively quickly. Doesn't he get like 50% buff on super? But his starting defense was super low. So obviously he aged out quite quickly. Uh, another MVP 17. Tech Super Saiyan 3 Goku. Uh, physical Piccolo. Yeah, there, you go. there we go. There's another Gohan one. Um, another transforming Goku Black. Yep, yeah, the six year fusions, physical Piccolo, physical Super Vegito. So a lot of these seem to be repeated. Our boy Goresh is here, physical Piccolo, you know why. Yeah, exactly. Orange Piccolo team, definitely very good. MVP 17, physical Super Vegito. So I think a lot of these, are, yeah, okay. A lot of these are just repeats now. <laughs> Tech Gohan. STR Vegito. I mean, imagine him and uh, Bootengs actually getting an easy A. That would actually be insane. Um. But yeah, a lot of these are being repeated now. <laughs> Raditz. Yeah, Raditz definitely needs an easy A to be on the level of the other units that released in the same year. Um, but I think all of these are repeats now. So let's just check the quote treats real quick. LR Blue Fusions. Yep. Um, yep. Super Saiyan 3 Goku. Tech LR Broly. Gohan and Goten. And Tech Exchange Boo. Yeah, Tech Exchange Boo could do with some more love. Somebody did already mention Int Gotenks. So that would be good. Um... Any of these boys. So we've got Tech, LR Broly, Super Sentry Goku, 
Uh, is that physical freezer? Yeah, physical freezer. And then the last one is... Yeah, actually, no one mentioned Tech Super Saiyan 2 LR Gohan from the Bojack movie. I liked him when he came out. I got very lucky on his debut uh, double uh, double rates banner, so that would be pretty cool. Uh, Kaelin Khalifa again, physical Piccolo, physical Super Vegito, Kaelin Khalifa from our boy Luca. So yeah, a lot of great options here, a lot of really good units. I agree with a lot of these. I would love to see easy A's for basically every unit that's been mentioned on the list so far. I'm actually a little bit disappointed that nobody mentioned Tech Margin Vegeta or the physical LR Bootanks, but... Obviously, it is what it is. So let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section. Who is the EZA that you are most looking forward to getting this year? And hopefully, not only do they get one, but it will actually be good. So let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section. So that is going to be it for the video, guys. This has been the Mars Ningen. Smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. Check out the links down below for the Discord and the merch store. And I will see you all again soon. Have a good one.